Pop him, don't watch him. Open it. Pop him. Welcome back to Pop him, don't watch him. Whiskey YouTube review show tonight. A video, I know there's tons of them out there, but this is gonna be my version of the top bourbons and whiskeys on the shelf that you can just go to your store and buy. No allocation, no lists. And I'm gonna get in depth of why this video is important. There should be no reason, no reason you should, you should be buying any of these bottles that I'm going to show you today at a big box store. No reason. These are on the shelf at your local retailer, your local liquor stores. And that's why I'm, this video is going to be important, guys. When you support your local stores, these guys, they have families. You know, kids, wives, they're trying to make a living. These aren't CEOs making prop billion, millions and billions of profits with yachts and all this shit. When you buy from your local stores, guys, you're supporting them directly. And I'm gonna highlight two. These are local stores for us here in uh, the North Shore area of New Orleans. Joe over at Riverbend Market, Callan over at Martin Wine Cellar on the North Shore. Can't get two better guys. Great prices on everything. We're gonna highlight those two today. And another thing I wanna point out, two things before we get started. These are the bourbons that are gonna develop your palate. I get the question all day, every day. How do you pick up these flavors? Where are you picking these flavors up in the nose? Where are you picking these notes up at? Guys, that takes time. Now, I started in wine. I was heavy into wine, so my palate was already a little refined before I got into bourbon. So as soon as I got into bourbon, I mean, the notes were coming out easier than they do in wine. But if you're not, if you're just starting out, you got to develop your palate. You got to learn which distillery has a distinct note. You know, Brown Foreman has a banana note, a heavy charred caramel note, wild turkey, the vanilla, the, um, the creamsicle flavors. Every distillery has a different note. And you need to find out what your palate likes. And when you do it with these bourbons or these ryes, you're not breaking the bank to do it. These can sit on your shelf, sit on your uh, bar, when you have people over, these are the ones you pull out. These are the ones you drink on a nightly basis to develop your palate and learn how to love the nuances of bourbon. Then you can get out into the high complex, older age, more expensive stuff. I don't know how many times I see guys, they, they're posting $200, $150, $200 bottles and oh, guys, I just bought this. Is this any good? What? You just spent $200 on a bourbon? You don't even know if it's any good? Now, now, we're not talking Old Carter and the Four Gates of the world. We know that no matter what the price is on those, they're going to be great. They're going to be worth the price. They've earned that reputation. But the best example I can give is last year's release of the Wild Turkey Master's Keep. I've been collecting those. I mean, they were sitting on the shelf. But now this bourbon boom, people that have never even had Wild Turkey or going out and spending $150 on the Wild Turkey Master's Key that released last year just because uh, it's, it's allocated, it's limited. They don't even know if they like Wild Turkey. Wild Turkey is a very distinct flavor profile. So before I get into too much of a rant, let's get into the top bourbons, in my opinion, on the shelf. Guys, I think if you take the opinion of this video, go out and get some of these. You will not be disappointed. And even if you are, you're not breaking the bank to do it. You're going to learn how to drink bourbon. Let's get into it. Number one. Now, this is no order. This is, I'm going to give you the price, but the price does not matter. What matters is these are on the shelf. So this is no price. This is no order of best to worst. This is just the way I lined them up. So we're going to get into the first one. Actually, two. We got Evan Williams, 
Bottled in Bond, and the Evan Williams Single Barrel. Now, Bottled in Bond, $15.99, Evan Williams, $29.99, Riverbend Marketplace. I mean, you can't get a better deal than that. You're getting a single barrel on this Evan Williams. It even tells you the date it was barreled, the barrel number, and the date it was bottled on. So you know exactly how old that bourbon is inside the bottle. Now, it is a single barrel, so they could vary bottle to bottle. But Evan Williams, you're getting that Heaven Hill peanutty profile, the sweetness, great bottles to start the bourbon journey on in this one. Evan Williams, $15.99 for the bottle and bond white label. 100 proof on this one. This one's 86.6 .6 proof. Great deal on these two. Next one, the Knob Creek line. So this is from Jim Beam. Jim Beam has a very uh, dusty peanut profile to it. Another one, this is the Knob Creek non-year, age-stated, non-year, age-stated, small batch bourbon, 100 proof. This one, you can get it right now for $29.99 at Riverbend Market. Now, these are the prices at these stores. I don't know where you're watching. I don't know how much it is there, but this is how it is here locally. Knob Creek also puts out an age-dated non-year single barrel. That one's only $43.99. That's 120 proof. Highly recommend going out, getting to Knob Creek. Try it out. My advice would be try the small batch first because it's only $29.99. It's 100 proof. Try that one out first. If you try and you're like, you know, wow, this is, this is pretty good, then you can go to the single barrel at 120 proof, and you're really going to love it at 120 proof. Next up on the list. So this is a newcomer. Now, this just came into Louisiana, but I've seen it. Kentucky, Tennessee. I don't know how prevalent it is across the country, but guys, if this is in your state, you got to get it. The Chattanooga Whiskey 111 cask. The things they're doing at Chattanooga Whiskey with the yeast, this is only two to three years old, and I cannot believe the, it does not have any yum notes to it. The flavor you're getting on this is incredible. $42.99 at Riverbend Market. This is worth every penny, every penny. Chattanooga Whiskey. I've put, a, I've put a lot of people on this. Nobody has been disappointed to spend $42 on this bourbon. This is legit stuff from Chattanooga Whiskey. They also do a port cask finish. I have a tequila finish. Everything I've tried for them, absolutely incredible. Next up, so this is... This is the big dog right now. This one, if you saw my video a while back, I did a blind flight for the best bourbon that was under $40 and on the shelf. Cooper's Craft took the title. Guys, Cooper's Craft 100, not the old label. This is the new one, the 100 proof. They chisel the barrels, get that bourbon deep in there. I mean, look at the color on that. This is a all day buy. $30.99 on the shelf, Riverbend Market. Go get this tomorrow. Go get it now. Whenever you're watching this, this is absolute hitter. If you love that brown foreman profile, that banana, the heavy caramel, the oak, this is you. And if you love, which is also a, um, a special mention, I guess you can say, because early times bottled and bond. When I went to Tennessee, when I go to Kentucky, it's collecting dust on the shelves. But in Louisiana, if it's on the shelf, it's gone that day. So I couldn't put that in this because it, it, it's, it's not sitting. That's, that's starting to really uh, fly off the shelves, especially since Sazerac bought them. So nobody knows what's going to happen. But to piggyback on that, if you really love early times bottle and bond, you love that profile. Guys, those barrels have been sitting. It's going to be the same juice for a long time. Until Sazerac starts putting their Barton juice into it. So you have nothing to worry about, but buy it if you see it. But if you like that and you can't find it, this is the one to go to. 
I can't prove it's the same thing. People have told me that it's a different mash bill. That's fine. But when you put them side by side, it's pretty dead on. So, another one a lot of people don't know about, and I know that because I didn't know about it until recently. Joe at Riverbend put me on it. Guys, Johnny Drum, 101 proof. This is Willet. This is Willet distilled juice. This is unbelievable. $29.99. Riverbend Market, Johnny Drum. I've been blown away by this bottle. That is what is in the glass. This is my new favorite everyday sipper. It was Cooper's Craft. Right now, it's Johnny Drum. You can't compare those two because it is two totally different profiles. So the Johnny Drum, it's got a banana note, but not like that deep, dark bananas foster note. This is more of like a fresh peeled, just getting ripe banana and just straight Willet cinnamon bun. Oh man, it, it's got that cinnamon bun, that bready cinnamon bun note with that little bit of ripe banana on it. I've had the older Willets, and you can tell. This is younger, purple top Willet. It is the same profile, just a little younger, $29.99. Go buy this. Johnny Drum by the Willet Distillery. So, moving on. This is, so I'm going to do this as a whole line, the Wild Turkey line. So, Wild Turkey 101. Visit my buddy Callen over at Martin Wine Cellar. He's got this right now, 25 bucks. Wild Turkey 101. We need to change the reputation on this. This isn't just some run-of-the-mill, bottom-shelf bourbon. This is a serious bourbon. This has great flavors of vanilla frosting, a citrus, like a cake flavor to it. It's high rise, so it does well in mixed drinks, makes a killer, killer old fashioned. You gotta have Wild Turkey 101 on the ball. Then there are other products. One of the top, top, guys, if you've never had Wild Turkey Rare Breed, the bourbon. Wild Turkey Rare Breed, I'm looking at my notes here. The Wild Turkey Rare Breed, $48 at Martin Wine Cellar. That is unbelievable. That is the bottle. If you want to get into Wild Turkey, start here with the one I want to have every day. But that Rare Breed, I don't even have a bottle because as soon as I buy them, they're gone. I have the Rare, the rare Breed Rye. This is unbelievable. It's not on the list because these are allocated. These are a little harder to get. As soon as they're put on the shelf, they're gone. Um, and then also at Wild Turkey, Russell's Reserve, the Russell's line. If you see a Russell's single barrel pick, don't even ask a question. Buy it. But they do have the single barrels on the shelf. They usually come in around 110 proof. This one is, so the Russell's single barrel and the 10-year, the Russell's 10-year, $55. If you're a fan, which I'll get into a little later on, if you're a fan of Eagle Rare 10 year, you're no longer going to be able to find it. Go get the Russell's 10 year. In my opinion, it's a little better. It's a little more at 55, but the Russell's 10 year, the Russell single barrel, the Rare Breed Bourbon, and Wild Turkey 101. Guys, these are bourbon staples to have on the shelf. You got to go. If you never had Russell's yet, you're missing out. Next up, I do not have a bottle of it because I get it and it's gone. I drink it. But this is the bourbon that really got me into the high proof stuff. And that is Old Forester 1920 coffee, chocolate, caramel, bananas foster. So much stuff going on in that bourbon. $54.00. Over at Martin Wine Cellar. That's easy buy, guys. If you haven't tried the 1920, 
The 1910 is also good. The 1910 is, is double barreled, but the problem with the 1910 is we just got it in Louisiana and it doesn't last long on the shelf. The 1920, you're gonna see that on the shelf. 115 proof. That was the first bourbon that really got me into high proof. When I get it, it's gone. I don't even have a bottle to show you. You know what it is. Old Forester 1920, definitely pick that one up. Next on the list, another Brown Foreman product, the Woodford Reserve Double Oat. This one comes in $50, 90.4 proof. This is, you know, people who aren't into bourbon, when you pull out Woodford Reserve, for some reason they are, they're, they're like, oh man, Woodford, that's, you know, that's, that's the high end stuff. And then you put them on the Woodford, Woodford Reserve Double Oat, they're hooked, hooked, hooked. That double oat, man, you talk about a flavor bomb, that brown form and profile, the Woodford double oat, can't beat that one, always had that on the shelf, especially when you have people over, they love the double oat. All right, so next up is another one. Now this is a weeder. I don't have that bottle, but it's Larceny, $25.00. 92 proof this is the barrel strength so i'm just showing this for you know bottle purposes this is not the one i'm talking about this one for some reason is highly allocated i don't understand why but the regular on the shelf larceny weeder if you love weller and you can't find it even if you can find weller go get the larceny i promise you you will no longer look for weller you will be on larceny. When it comes to weeded bourbons, that larceny, I don't have one because when I get it, I drink it. Larceny, 92 proof, $25. Stop looking for the Weller 12 and the Weller SR. Buy the larceny, guys. It's on the shelf, weeded. It will blow Weller, at least Weller SR, out of the water. I've never been able to compare it to Weller 12. I really don't care because I don't look for Wellers. Weller 107 is a different story. But if you're looking for a weeder, you can't find Weller. Larceny is the place to go for that one. All right, next up. A, I don't want to say new, but they are starting to really get big. Wilderness Tread. They're really starting to pump out some products. This is all their own juice. It's really starting to come of age. This is the six-year-old bottle and bond. This is the uh, rye recipe, not the weed. And now the six years is a little pricey. This is in the $70 range. This is the rye. Let me tell you something. The cash strength rye. Now this is the New Orleans Bourbon Fest pick, but the Wilderness Trail rye, that is the best old fashioned I've ever had. My buddy, Dr. Jared, he makes the best. I've had old fashions across the country at top bars. I'm not over exaggerating. He makes the best old fashioned. We did, we used this a few weeks back. Wow. It, pff, unbelievable with that Wilderness Trail rye. You can drink it neat, you can drink it over the rocks, but in an old fashioned, unbelievable. You can get the rye. You can get the four-year, you can get the weeded, regular bottle and bond. Those usually between $40 and $45 on the shelf at Martin Wine Cellar. Great, great bourbons and rise. So, last but not least, I know everybody's wondering, where's the Buffalo Trace? Well, here it is. It's on the list. So, there's two. Now, Eagle Rare... Do not get me wrong, Eagle Rare is, in my opinion, Buffalo Trace's best core product. 10-year bourbon, 90 proof for a 10-year bourbon for $30. It, you, you can't get a better deal than that. But the problem is now, look, just a year and a half, two years ago, down here, this was at Target. It was sitting on the shelf at Target had Eagle Red. Now, you're lucky if you find it anywhere. But it is a great, great bourbon to start with. 
and Buffalo Trace. Now this, this you can find this. Buffalo Trace is easy, easy, great price, 90 proof. You can drink it neat. Also, very good in an old fashion. The picks are really good. This is a Rouse's pick, um, but Buffalo Trace for the price, you can't beat it. I've seen it as low as $17. I've seen it as high as $30. It's going to fall in between there, somewhere around there. Um, but, it, you know, if you're just starting out, you can't find the Buffalo Trace stuff. You keep hearing about Buffalo Trace. Go get it. This is one of their best on-the-shelf products. If you see Eagle Rare, go get that as well. But that's going to be a little harder to get. So, guys, leave some comments in the below, below, below in the uh, comment section if you have any questions. I always answer comments, always. I'm gonna answer every comment you guys have, any kind of questions. I'm always active on there answering questions. Big thank you to everybody that is supporting the channel. Unbelievable how fast this channel is growing. And this is for you guys. This is why I'm doing it. Give you the information, take the guesswork out of it. I enjoy doing it. I hope you enjoy watching it. What do we say? If it's on the shelf or if it's allocated, Papa, don't watch it.